What's up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel. And over the last roughly 15 months, I have been documenting my process of growing my stock investment portfolio from about $7,400 to being valued at over $100,000 over this year period of time. Now, as much as I've enjoyed growing my stock portfolio, I have come to the decision that I am going to be selling about 90% of my stocks. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing why I've decided to sell the vast majority of the stocks that I own and where I plan on investing my money instead. So let's get started. Now, over the last 15 months, I have really taken advantage of the pandemic and the market that the pandemic has provided. Now, I'm sure many of you guys who are watching this video have probably had a very similar experience to me in the market in 2020. The fact is the stock market provided a lot of opportunity this past year, and I was certainly one of the beneficiaries of that opportunity. And because of this opportunity, I went from having a stock portfolio valued at about $7,400 to about $100,000 in present day, summer of 2021. In fact, I documented the majority of this process over the course of the last year on this channel. My TD Ameritrade portfolio has $7,412.87, and that is spread across four stocks. So you guys, that is my entire investment portfolio and the entire portfolio is valued at $14,297.14. .14. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down my $60,000 stock portfolio. And as we sit here today in 2021, that investment portfolio is valued at just under $80,000. And lastly is the stock market, which is the third place that I currently have my money. And as of right now, I have a stock portfolio valued at about $100,000. But over the last couple of months, I've been debating on making a change to my investment strategy. And after months of thinking about it and weeks doing research, weighing out the pros and the cons, I finally have made the decision that I am going to change my investment strategy from here on out. And as a result, I'm going to be selling about 90% of my entire investment portfolio, meaning I'm going to be selling about $90,000 worth of stock. In fact, as I'm recording this video, I've already sold about 50% of my entire investment portfolio, and over the next two to four weeks, I'm gonna be selling the other 40%, leaving only about 10% actively invested in the market. Now, before we dig into where I plan on investing my money going forward, I first wanna talk about why I've come to this decision and why I've made the decision to sell the majority of my stocks. Now, the fact is I am not a expert investor. I'm not like the me Kevin of the YouTube world. I am a very average stock investor. I think I'm very good at taking advantage of opportunity when opportunity presents itself, but I am certainly not a good enough investor to navigate a bear market. And I just feel down to my core that a bear market is coming. Now, I understand that the entire discussion of a market crash and a correction can be a dicey subject to say the least. And a lot of people get tired of having this discussion because so many financial analysts bring it up all the time. The age old joke that I hear often is that if you predict a market crash every year, eventually you're going to be right. And then whenever you're right, you can then tell everybody that you're right. And you can use that as proof to why you should be listened to as an expert stock investor. That certainly isn't what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to predict the market. I'm not trying to tell you when the market's going to crash. I'm not trying to assure you that it will crash. To be honest, I don't really know. But the fact is, I feel really uneasy with the current valuations in the market. In fact, I feel uneasy with almost every aspect of the economy in present day. I feel as though everything is overinflated, including things like the car market, the housing market, the stock market. I feel as though inflation is a serious concern that the government isn't taking seriously enough. And I feel as though over the last year, stimulus has really been propping up the economy artificially. And you can only do this for so long. Not only do I not feel confident in the market as a whole right now, I also don't feel confident in myself as an investor right now either. Like I said earlier, I am an average investor. I certainly am not somebody that would be considered an expert by any stretch of the imagination. And though I can certainly take advantage of a bull market when it presents itself to me, I do not feel confident in my ability to navigate a bear market. And I don't feel like I can accurately and efficiently navigate a bear market to get any sort of substantial ROI if and when the market crashes. Because of that and more, I've decided to take the vast majority of my money out of the market for the time being. 
Now, this decision didn't come easy. I'm somebody that doesn't take selling stocks lightly, and I hate the idea of potentially losing out on future opportunity. But I've really come to the conclusion that selling stock and taking profit is always better than holding out for a speculation that the market could go up in the future, at the risk that it may not go up and it could in fact go down. And I simply do not want to put myself in a position to where I'm holding on to my stocks, the market corrects itself, and then I'm stuck holding even longer to offset the losses of the market crash. Now again, I want to reiterate, and I really do want to stress the fact that I don't know if the market's going to crash, and I'm certainly not here telling you that it will. But I just feel down to my core that it is the right decision to take my money out of the market for the time being, which is exactly why I did. So then that begs the question of where do I plan on investing my money in the future? Because you can bet that it is going somewhere. And I do have plans for this money that I believe will have a significantly higher ROI than the stock market short term. Now, ever since I've had this YouTube channel, I've oftentimes described myself as an opportunistic investor. This is a phrase that I, I feel like I maybe made up. I don't know if it's a legitimate thing, but it's oftentimes how I've described myself in my investment style. And what I mean by this is that I don't really have any sort of long-term investment strategy. Now, like most investors, I have diversified my investment portfolio. I will keep money in the stock market. I have money in crypto. I have my house, which is real estate. But the vast majority of my investment portfolio, I like to put where there is the most opportunity at that point in time. Sometimes that is avenues like franchising, sometimes it's real estate, sometimes it's Turo, sometimes it's the stock market. Basically, it changes depending on what is happening in the economy, what's happening in the world, and what's happening in my personal life. This money is oftentimes allocated in a more active investment like starting a business or building a Turo fleet rather than a passive investment like stock portfolios or real estate. And so now that I feel as though the stock market doesn't have quite the opportunity that it did this time last year, I've instead decided to invest my money into a few different things. First and foremost is my Turo fleet. This is something that I've talked about a lot on this channel. I've also talked about it a lot on my second channel that I have with my fiance HP. I currently have a 13 car Turo fleet. I've purchased a couple of cars in the last couple of weeks and I plan on buying about 10 cars between now and the end of the year. And I plan on taking a portion of this money that I am pulling out of the stock market and I plan on allocating it into my Turo fleet to buy more cars, to streamline operations, to improve my garage, that way we can fix cars quicker. Basically, I plan on investing this money into my Turo business so that I can turn my business into the machine that I know that it can be. Up until this point, Turo has been a really great side hustle. It's been something that I've done in my free time as a semi-passive income stream. And it's been something that I've done in addition to a full-time job, as well as owning a franchise at one point in time, as well as doing this YouTube channel. But recently my fiance quit his job so that he could grow our Turo business full time. And as a result, I really feel like we can bring our Turo business to the next level. But of course, as the fleet grows, so does maintenance and repair requirements as well. And because of that, as the fleet is growing, we also need to streamline our operations at the same time. As a result, we are investing in redoing our garage. We're gonna be allocating all of our personal belongings that are currently in our garage into a storage unit in our backyard. We're gonna be getting more heavy duty equipment. That way HP can work on the cars more more efficiently. We're going to be organizing the garage with like shop style storage. That way he can find things easier. Basically, we're going to be turning our home garage into a full fledged mini shop. And that's, of course, going to require some capital in order to do that efficiently. In addition to the Turo fleet and growing the Turo fleet, I would also like to invest more money into this channel as well and take on new projects that you guys can learn off of and hopefully find entertaining. I'd love to explore different avenues of starting businesses and starting side hustles. I, of course, want to finish the camper van, which is currently a work in progress, but I'd also love to explore the options of like doing Airbnb, trying to do pop-up tents, doing RV share, doing more about doorsy stuff. I would love to really dive headfirst into all of the different avenues that you can explore in order to make money. And doing some of this stuff will of course require some capital. And really the last place that I plan to put my money is really wherever opportunity is. Like I said earlier, I am an opportunistic investor and I like to put my money where there is the highest ROI at that point in time. And right now in June of 2021, I believe that that is predominantly in Turo. And because of that, I will be investing the vast majority of my money into expanding my Turo fleet. 
but in a year from now, it could potentially be into something different. And two years down the line, it could be something totally different than YouTube, Turo, or any of the other things I pursue. There is always new opportunity out there, and I want to make sure to leave myself liquid enough to be able to take advantage of those opportunities once they do present themselves to me. But of course, if and when those opportunities do present themselves, I will absolutely be updating y'all on where I'm putting my money, what investments I'm looking into, that way you guys can look into them as well. Now with that being said, you guys, I know that this is a different video than I normally make, but I felt like it was important to make this video because I really try to be transparent on where I'm investing my money and why I am doing what I'm doing with my money. And I felt like I couldn't take 90% of my stock investments out of the stock market without letting you guys know why I was making this decision and the thought process process behind the decision. Ultimately, at this point in my life, I am looking for the highest ROI, even if there's a bit more workload associated with that ROI. And I really feel confident about my decision to take my money out of the market and put it into other ventures for the time being. But like always, you guys, if you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.